The Great White North fights back against COVID-19. Canadian universities are front and center tackling this crisis and tracing its impact on our lives. This is Universities Fight COVID-19 from Radio Western. Each episode, we tell you about COVID-19 related research and commentary coming out of Canadian universities. Today's episode is from Memorial University of Newfoundland. How are governments around the world sharing COVID-19 data with their country's citizens? Chances are, they're doing this selectively, releasing information about the number of confirmed cases and deaths due to COVID-19. According to French philosopher Michel Foucault, governments are practicing something called biopower. They're using a biological feature of human beings, in this case COVID-19, as part of a general strategy of power. When governments release COVID-19 statistics, it influences how much we could fear the disease or be relaxed, possibly careless about it. Balanced courses of action rely on complete, valid and reliable government information. But in many cases, that's not happening. For example, just how accurate are the figures coming out of the United States? The political stakes in the country, especially during COVID-19, are very high. There is an ongoing social and political crisis in the U.S. caused by COVID-19. And in order to shift blame from his own late, ineffective response, Trump is blaming China for the pandemic. The high numbers in infections and deaths from COVID-19 are also contributing to a sense of fear and insecurity. Trump could potentially use this to his advantage in the upcoming election. On another continent, Russia is ensuring that it's the only source of information on COVID-19. Anyone else collecting and spreading pandemic figures or complaining about the country's response to COVID-19 is being silenced. According to their government, Russia has one of the lowest COVID-19 mortality rates in the world. Could this be biopower in play? Putin was to extend his term as Russia's president via a constitutional referendum on 22nd April. It has now been postponed to 1st July. If he's truly underreporting the true number of COVID-19 related deaths, he could claim credit for handling the crisis better than any current world leader. Back home in Canada, our figures are not too controversial. We don't have an exceptionally high number of COVID-19 cases, nor an exceptionally high mortality rate. But the fed- The federal government's website reports aggregate data only. There are no death statistics. And if you want to know province-specific breakdowns, you have to examine each provincial website, all with different formats for reporting statistics. The federal and provincial governments now have given themselves full discretion in deciding what COVID-19-related information will be released and when and how to do it. It means that access to information requests are not going to be too useful. Is this biopower? In the absence of clear information, we are expected to accept the actions of our governments with no criticism and at face value. This story was adapted from Anton Olenik's conversation article, The Politics Behind How Governments Control Coronavirus Data. Olenik is a professor of sociology at Memorial University of Newfoundland.